Welcome my good smelling friends, if you're here, today I'm sharing with you my top 13 favorite fragrances from my collection. Before I start, I want to say that these are fragrances that I like and I didn't buy them to get compliments from other people. If you don't like the fragrances I'm showing, it's okay. Maybe I don't like the fragrances you are wearing, that's okay too. We are all here to share this passion and I actually encourage you to buy fragrances because you like them and not because everyone else is wearing them. Let's begin. At number 13, it is El Haramein Amber Musk. This fragrance should be much higher in the list because it smells very rich and opulent, just like the bottle indicates, and it has a very good performance to make its opulent presence felt. I've only placed it at number 13 because my taste in fragrances has changed a lot in the last two years and my nose doesn't tolerate sweet fragrances that much anymore. 12. Jesus del Pozo Arabian Nights for Men as I previously mentioned, my taste has changed and if in the past I used to love fragrances with a Middle Eastern smell, I now tend to go for safe but not generic fragrances and Arabian Nights fits in perfectly as it is a semi-fresh saffron based fragrance which smells like the Middle East and has a very good performance despite not having a heavy composition. 11. Jovan White Musk for Men This is the cheapest fragrance in the list, by far, and one of the cheapest in my collection but it doesn't behave like a cheap fragrance, despite its unattractive looking bottle. It is a fragrance that I keep recommending to everyone who is on a tight budget, but would like to smell great, as this one smells very pleasant, safe and comforting, and it lasts a whole day despite having a cologne concentration. 10. This squared 2 wood, the new version of the old he wood. Some people say it's nothing like he wood and hate it. I wasn't a big fan of it when it first came out, but the more I kept wearing it, the more I kept liking it and I keep reaching for it because it's very easy to wear and very versatile. When I don't know what to wear, I just grab this squared wood because it has a safe wood soapy smell which works in any situation and its performance is good enough to get me through the day. 9. Versace Man Au Fresh This is an ultimate fresh perfume for men. Blue, aquatic, spicy fragrance with a manly smell. When it's summer, I know I need to get this one out, and it's so perfect for warm weather. 8. Loewe Solo It used to be higher in this list, but I feel like it's not performing as good as it used to. One of the most complex designer fragrances I have smelled, and with a superior quality than most of the designer fragrances. Unique with a Spanish character, Solo has made me pursue the house of Loewe and try many more of their fragrances. There is one fragrance from this house that I prefer over the original Solo and it's one of the flankers, but it will be revealed later on as it is placed much higher in this list because it is my favorite designer fragrance of all times. 7. Guerlain L'Homme Ideal Cologne A super unique fresh fragrance with a very good performance, making it a very versatile all-season fragrance. A lighter version of the original L'Homme Ideal but with the same unmistakable Guerlain quality. This one I think it was discontinued, that's why I have a backup bottle, but I feel like I need to get more. 6. Hermes H24 I purchased a refill bottle because it was on discount, which made it a lot cheaper than the actual H24 bottle, and I sprayed it on from one of my decanter bottles. But this is now a keeper in my collection, and I'm probably going to get the actual bottle of H24 as well, because this one is one of my latest purchases and it's already at number 8 in my top favorite fragrances. I only have the EDT and I saw that the EDP was just released. And if it smells like the EDT but deeper and more complex, then it could replace my EDT and maybe rank even higher in this list. At number 5 is the Neroli Portofino DNA. I'm saying the Neroli Portofino DNA because it is the more popular fragrance to refer to. But this DNA this smell existed before Neroli Portofino in a fragrance called 4711 Original and even before in a fragrance called A la Reine de Fleur by L.T. Piver. I own A la Reine de Fleur alongside three other fragrances that smell similar. Castile by Penhaligons, Cologne Grand Luxe by Fragonard and Neroli Canvas by Al Haramein. There are many other fragrances that smell like this and I understand why they are so many, because it is a smell that simply works. It's safe, it's uplifting, it's calming and it doesn't seem to get old or become boring. I own four fragrances with this smell because there are some differences between them, making me choose one of them depending on how I want this smell to behave on the day I decide wearing it. 
but the most important is that I own four fragrances with this smell because I simply love this smell. I might add more fragrances with this DNA to my collection, but I might also give up on some I already own. For example, I like Castile the most based on how it smells and the way the bottle looks, but its weak performance makes me doubt that it is worth repurchasing, because it's quite expensive. 4. Acqua di Parma Colonia Essenza A high quality, natural smelling Italian fragrance. A soapy floral fragrance in the most classy and elegant possible way. Whenever I wear this fragrance, it has to be when I'm wearing a linen shirt, enjoying a nice cup of coffee or tea on a sunny day. It has a summer holiday vibe to it, and that's when I enjoy this fragrance the most. At number 3, it's none other than Creed Aventus. As much as this fragrance has been cloned and reformulated, Aventus still has one of the best DNAs in a man's fragrance. It's simple, men love how this fragrance smells. It's a safe, clean scent that doesn't smell like every other man's fragrance and that projects an imposing, musky smell. Sometimes I do wear one of its clones because Aventus is still an expensive fragrance and would cost a fortune to make it my everyday fragrance. However, there is still a big difference in quality when comparing the clones with the real Aventus. Number 2. Loewe Solo Absoluto. My favorite from the Solo line, my favorite Loewe fragrance and my favorite designer fragrance of all times. I repeat, my favorite designer fragrance of all times. And I can say that again with no doubt because this is just a masterful blend right here. It even beats lots of niche fragrances, as the quality here is so high and the smell is so unique and so good that it might sometimes be confused with a niche fragrance. And number one, my number one spot is shared by two fragrances one being slightly above the other, Clive Christian 1872 and Creed Royal Water. These two fragrances for me aren't just simple fragrances. I don't wear these on a daily basis, I actually don't wear them that often, even if they are my favorite fragrances, just because these are made to be worn during a special event, and for me there is no other smell that could give me the same feeling and put me in a different era alongside kings and queens like these two fragrances do. I prefer Clive Christian 1872 over Creed's Royal Water because it is overall a better fragrance, but it is also more expensive, about double the price. And Royal Water is still a Creed fragrance, so plenty of quality here too. That's why I love both and that's why they take the number one spot in my top 13 fragrances from my collection.